Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, you know, make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend. And if you have been supporting me, thank you so much. And so today, um, I'm going to do a different kind of video and this is a video that it's personal um, in the sense that I feel there's a lot of misery around the world. And I know that this is a man that I have been following for a while now that I love so much. I love what he's doing. It's B. Pikafi. I hope I'm saying that right. He's, so he's South African. And he basically what he does is he just goes around uh, his city or when he's traveling. And then when he sees people, suffering people, homeless people, he always goes to them and tries to help them however he can. So this one is a very touchy video uh, from him. And so it's kids selling teddy bears to pay the rent. This will break your heart. So if you're sensitive to this kind of thing, so kindly watch my other videos and skip this one. But I feel it's important to see the misery that's going on around the world and see how you can help, you know, um, when you see uh, someone who's suffering, be it your friends, your family, your neighbors, the homeless person, we are all human beings by the end of the day and we all need each other and we all need to feel loved and not ignored. So let's go. Hey, how's it? Come here. Hey, how are you? I'm good. If I'm looking for directions to, where can I get them? Uh, just here by the spa, by one of the car guards. Yeah. They're long here. I think they all... You think I want to support us, maybe? Sorry? We're starting teddy bears. It's our only income to provide food and to pay the rent. Any small donation. Oh, it's for donation? Yes, ma'am. You're asking for what? We're selling this teddy. Teddy bears? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. How much are they? This one is 200. Where do you stay? In the area. So the kids, if I understand so far, they're selling the teddy bears so they can sustain the family. And that is, I think it's a very honest way of doing things and, you know, not uh, not stealing and stuff like that and trying to make money from what they have. But it, it breaks my heart as a parent to know these kids are selling their stuff, not because they want to buy other toys or other teddies, but they want to help the family maybe with food, with rent. Uh, you know, just buying some clothes on and stuff like that. So it breaks my heart. Is that how much is a teddy bear? Two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah. I got you give you. This one for hundred. Hundred. Are we gonna give you fifty? Yeah. How much is the rent? Our rent is two point five. Two point five. Oh, so they're selling the teddies for rent. Yes, stay. You're not poor, but you own. Hey, how's it? How much is it? Um, oh. You can give me spot to each other. Yeah. And what are you selling? Rice and steady. Oh, roses. Yeah, I've got a post away and my mom has changed, so it's not any income. Mm. Yeah. No, but but now we just wanted our rent. Just want the rent. Yeah. And too much money. Even oh. come so far. Yeah. Oh wow, how cute is that? Look at how uh, beautiful the children are. I don't know if it's the big brothers or one of them is the father. But by the end of the day, these children look to be very um, polite, disciplined, you know, and they know what they're talking about. They know um, the they their you know, I think they're future businessmen in a way and business women because you know they know how to sell what they're selling. It looks a clean, it's a clean teddy. And they know they they want money for rent and food, especially food, because uh, without food, you know, it's our fuel in a way. And it's I think it's it's very difficult to see children their age going through such um, a terrible part of their life. But it's not the end of the road. Um, and I feel you have a bright future ahead of you, so do not despair. And for money, and yeah. where where do you buy your food? Yeah. Okay. So generally, if, if, yeah, I was going to Pretoria not, but just because she said she wants yeah. to buy the, she wants me to buy the teddy bear. So if I can assist you, how can I assist you? Because I don't have, I won't be buying it. Well, how can I assist you in general? Any small donation. Any small donation. Anything will be sure. Even if you buy food. Food. You will buy food. 
Yeah, and I felt like, you know, um, they're torn between two things, food and shelter, you know, and both of them are basic human needs, basic human uh, rights, I would say, and I feel like it's a very difficult thing. So, you know, your heart, your head says, we need a shelter, you know, we can sleep hungry, it's okay, but on the other hand, the kids want to eat, they want, you know, to, to sleep on, a, you know, they don't want to sleep on an empty stomach, so I feel it's, ah, uh, it's a difficult situation for them. Yes. You only need that. You only need that? Yeah. yeah. How much is the rent money, lady? Don't talk. Uh, 400, 1,400. 1,400. Are you sure? What is short of 1,400? Yeah, 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 because he said, um, in, in the beginning, he said it's 2,400, so they're short of 1,400, and so they have to you know, get that money. Yeah. You showed off a thousand four hundred. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know. Let me see what I can get you. I'm trying to assist and the best possible way is to assist people who are doing the right things. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Sir. Because most of the time you assist people and they are doing drugs. Yeah. So you're looking for money. Yeah. yeah. Do you know how And to... I feel that's a controversial part. I know there's some people who say that if you want to help somebody leave your camera at home and the reason why I, I disagree with that is um, you will never know what other people are doing because sometimes we need someone who will show us how to help other people, how to be a good example and stuff like that. So I feel on the one, one hand, yeah, you can help um, in the um, without screaming to the world that you've helped somebody. But I also feel it's good to see people helping other people so it can drive us to help somebody we probably go past every morning without saying hello, without offering them some some coffee or even a sandwich and stuff like that. It just opens our heart and just shows us that these people are normal people like you and I. And I feel as much as you may doubt, I know personally I used to say, oh, but if I give money then they will you know they will go and buy alcohol or or drugs and stuff like that. Then if you don't want to give money, why don't you uh, buy them lunch. Why don't you buy them a drink if it's a it's a scorchy uh, day? Why don't you you know buy them a pair of shoes or buy them a pair of clothes or ask them how can I assist you? And I feel there are different ways of helping without necessarily giving money. Sometimes you know we throw away stuff when you have like an old jacket, like oh let me just throw it away. Why don't you give it to a homeless person or someone who's in need in your family or whatever the case may be? But it's just a way of giving without expecting anything in return and that's why i like his videos in particular because we can see that uh, the, the the popularity that he's got is helping him you know help forward you know and he's helped so many people in different ways um and yeah i feel it's we should normalize seeing these things talking about them and uh and trying to change the world from our point of view and you know so i feel that's why I think this video was important for me. It's a personal one. You may not like it, but I feel that um, it's, it comes from my heart, just showing that it's okay to help. It's okay to film when you're helping somebody. There's nothing wrong about it because you will inspire another person. And um, and then, you know, it will create like this a roller coaster or domino effect. You see what I mean? Count. Yes, this yeah. Was, you know how to count. Yeah. Oh, can you count this? Oh, just listen to how the, I don't know if it's a sister, just listen to her laugh, she's so happy. Just listen again. He just made their day. You you may not be in a position to give that much, but just making someone's day, just even by saying hello, trying to know somebody, the homeless person next to your house or 
next to the street where you work and stuff. It just makes their day. Um, yeah. My number. What okay. okay. is this? Frankie, you don't. Yeah. 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 What do you say? What do you say? You're staying in your squad. In squad. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, get through a line. Give me your number, then we can call you. No, just give me your number. Patriot number nine. Patriot number nine. Patriot. Patriot. Yeah. Oh, the young girls are like, thank you, uncle. So that's a form of respect. And we find this thing in Africa where anybody who is not your blood aunt or uncle because of the respect we have for the elderly ones and old people who are older than us, then we call them uncle or aunt. And then on the other hand, she's asking for the number because she wants to thank him so much. She wants to call him and tell him, probably tell him how her life has changed from that day forward. They can go home. They can have a hot meal. They know they will not be kicked out of their house. Mm, it's fantastic. Okay, actually, I saw you before. Don't worry about that. I even bought you this. Yeah, I saw you when you were eating the, the donuts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank, thank you, Uncle. Thank you. Uncle. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, God bless you, Uncle. God bless you, too. Thank you, Uncle. Yeah. You see what? It takes courage to do what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I don't know you. Do you understand? And we're yeah. just praying now. Then. You were just praying. Yeah. Oh God. You see, answers are always answered. You just have to yeah. If you, you, God answered your prayer in, in His own timing, His perfect timing, and that's fantastic. And I think that's the thing because we often we often scared of helping people because we don't know them. Uh, they don't know us. We 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 are worried that they might attack us but let's not forget that they're also humans you know by the end of the day it depends on how you approach them how you relate with them you know and yeah i mean oh it's fantastic it's good cool, eh? we did pray we asked this is gonna to help you to buy food yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna buy food and you're gonna make sure that the kids are taken care of yes. you understand mm -hmm. yeah you're because good. i saw you with the kids Take let me know in the comment section below how much is a thousand rands compared to the euro. So one euro equals how many uh, South African rand? Let me know. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, you. So good and God bless you. <laughs> Can I have your number, please? <laughs> no, I'll come see you. Don't <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll come see you. And B for Kathy always he keeps um he um how do you say that um he always goes back to see people that he helps he always so i'm sure he will go back and and see you guys and see how you're doing 100 percent. he keeps promising don't worry don't oh, worry no. I'll come see you. and god bless you it's all about god guys yes. about god. i'm not a rich person it's just all about god i saw you when you were sharing the donuts and i said let me come and bless you all right could be good guys yeah yeah. You know, and the kids can keep their teddy bears. They can keep the teddy bears because that's probably one of the rarest things that they have and they can um, hang on to at night and that reassures them. It's been, as a parent, it just oh, it breaks my heart to see this. The teddy bears, just give them to the kids. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool, guys. Yeah. All right, sure. All right, cool. Bye, guys. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, when you give a helping hand, when you open your heart to other people, people that you don't know, it's a blessing because when you give, you're opening more doors, you're opening yourself more doors, and it doesn't have to be financial. It can be just a hello, just a good night, just some coffee, just some hot water, just by giving out uh, your old jacket to somebody who's in need, by just the shoes, it doesn't have to be financial, but as long as it comes from the heart, um, then that's what really counts. So, and you may make somebody's day, and if you make that person's day, it will make his day, his family, his children, 
you know, and so on. So it's a domino effect, you know. So don't hesitate to help people that you love. So guys, thank you so much for watching again. It was fantastic. This was a little bit different, but you know what? It's straight from my heart because I love seeing uh, people coming together despite of your race, uh, despite of where you come from, your culture, your skin color, all that. It's just um, doesn't make sense. We are all one people. Um, yeah. And so listen, thank you so much. If you're new, subscribe. And until next time, bye.